There's no ma Oh shit. Oh fuck. Despite the fact that Microsoft did not want this to happen, in the 90s, it was just as much a part of the fundamental experience of using Windows as Paint and Solitaire were, but these days you won't run across it as often, and that is the blue screen of death. You'll notice that this scanner build... Whoa. What the fuck? Computer users of the younger generation have no concept of how prevalent the terrified screen used to be or what it represented in the past. Once you witness the blue screen of death, everything that you had been working on vanished, and your computer needed to be restarted. Even in modern times, the blue screen of death is an instantly identifiable indicator that something is broken. Nonetheless, its origins remain a mystery. Thus, keep watching this video to find out the answer. What? When Windows 3.1 crashed, all that was shown was a black screen rather than the blue screen of death, and if you were fortunate, a DOS command input box would show on the screen. Thus, using this field, you would be able to start Windows once again. On the other hand, it had a blue screen that could be accessed by hitting the Control, Alt, and Delete keys simultaneously. In addition, it is interesting to note that the blue screen wording was produced by none other than the director of the firm, Steve Ballmer, while he was in charge of the Microsoft System Division. It is difficult to overstate the significance of Windows 95, which includes the following. Imagine the excitement that surrounded the first generation of iPhones, but confines it to the desktop operating system. Indeed, the 1990s were a peculiar decade as shown by the fact that many individuals were enamored with the innovative capabilities of desktop computers. In any case, no one was safe from the dreaded blue screen of death that flashed whenever software or driver malfunctioned and caused a system breakdown. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> blue screen of death. The blue screen of death provided some secret information about the factors that contributed to the issue and then it made some suggestions that were easier to comprehend on what the user needed to do next. In principle, you should have been able to exit this application by hitting any key, and doing so should have returned you back to Windows Desktop. According to what Raymond Chen said, early versions of this message had the phrase, it may be feasible to continue working in the regular mode. However, owning to excessive optimism, this line was eventually omitted. In preparation for the launch of Windows 2000, Microsoft has increased its collection of remedies for the blue screen of death. The user was given the instruction to immediately power down the computer, and all the previous references to the option of returning to the desktop were removed. In addition, there was a collection of other suggestions for tracking mistakes in the event that this issue occurred once again. These ideas range from screening for viruses to verifying the integrity of the hard drive. Windows 8 brought about a comprehensive overhaul of the blue screen of death. The text screen, which was quite similar to the terminal, has been removed, and in its place, contemporary system typefaces and a very large sad smiley written in ASCII have been inserted. The fact that practically all of the knowledge on the factors that led to the occurrence of the issue, as well as pointers for resolving it, has been lost is perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the situation. Since blue screens are much less prevalent these days than they were in the past, this issue is no longer nearly as problematic as it was, and you may determine the cause of the PC's crash by consulting the system logs or by using third-party apps that are designed to gather information of this kind. In addition, the display remains unchanged while using Windows 10. Thanks for watching this video.